standing in this spot in February, I would have been surrounded by hundreds of people. So how is Madison left off Time Magazine's list when the protester is the person of the year? From the chaos in Cairo to Madison's crowded Capitol Square, beyond the parks of Lower Manhattan, it's been a powerful year for protests. But many have said the Occupy movement that spread across the country was inspired by what happened here earlier this year. Time Magazine named the protester the person of the year. But David Douglas is here and Madison got no love, David. Yeah, the article runs almost 7,000 words, Eric and Sarah, but not among them are the words Madison, Wisconsin, or Walker. Just the sheer enormity. If you're having trouble remembering what 2011 started like. I want to create an image that can, that can place you at that protest. Photographer Eric Bailey's can take you back. It was really a life experience to go to those protests. His photos and video show the crowd. Official estimates one Saturday said more than 100,000 surrounded the square. Yet in the year Time magazine named the protester its person of the year, there's nary a mention of any of it. Just one line provides the link, saying part of the protest movement was touched off by new state laws making certain public employee union demands illegal. I think it's, it's more of an overall look. I mean, you can look all over the world. The, the upheaval of people, it, does it really need to specify Wisconsin? I think it's odd that uh, Wisconsin um, was, was left out of the conversation. On a dreary night around the dome, some just thought the omission odd. Others saw it as an oversight. They like to pretend that, uh, that all of the, the people being unhappy with their governments is something happening outside the country. Time did give space to discuss the Occupy movement, just not the place many think it started. I mean, we were really, really kind of the forefront. Yet in a building so stable, so much changes. Who knows, the national media could be back. An accompanying online photo gallery does feature one protester from Wisconsin, but that is it. The issue hits newsstands on Friday in downtown. Another man told me tonight, listen, this was really small compared to what happened in other parts of our country and other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So maybe we think it's a big deal, but compared to everything else, maybe not so much. Just another opinion. All hmm. right. David Douglas. Thank you, David. Thanks, David.